Well, good morning and welcome to another virtual tour by Goldacre Estates. Today we're in the beautiful village of Trikivachati, literally 10 minutes to the coast and the coastal resort of Caleta de Fusta and of course the capital, Puerto del Rosario. So actually quite uh, logistically easy to get around and close by amenities. Trikivachati, if you haven't been to it, it's a beautiful village, traditionally a farming village really. So there's absolutely gorgeous open field surrounding this village. And as you can see here, look, really just open views to the mountains to the coast and to the south of the island. Really, really open. And of course, you've also got a lovely mixture of old and new here. You've got some dry stone walling, walling with the sedimentary rock here, and then you've got some modern villas as well. Now we're here to show you a modern villa that is for sale now, four bedroom with a beautiful swimming pool here in the village. Before we do that, I'm just gonna pop up the QR code. If you haven't already downloaded our mobile app, do so now. It's a very, very useful tool. If you're going to fly out uh, and you have your mobile phone on with you, uh, then it's going to be a, a great tool for you to see all of the availability of Gold Acre Estates here in Fuerteventura. Let me show you that QR code now and then let's get back to the villa. So here we are now, just by this lovely old ruin is this gorgeous villa. As you can see, gated entrance uh, here. No neighbours on the side, just open fields where I parked. And as you come in here, this is an electronic sliding gate. You can see this is actually quite a useful space if you're entertaining and if you want people to park along the driveway. It's quite a wide entrance that leads you up to the villa. And the, as you can see here, the villa is actually set behind. It's in a really, really private position. I've just walked up the drive and as you can see, there's some mature planting there, yuccas, palms and the like. And as you come up to the villa now, look, you can actually see and get a feel for how large it is. Beautifully constructed, this villa. Really tall ceilings, all tiled with a terracotta tile. And there's a huge garden space, walled gardens at the back with a pool. Before that though, let me get you inside. So literally from the front door, you can actually have surrounding mountain views here as well. When you walk in, it's a real surprise though. Look at this, an absolutely modern, beautiful villa. Huge, huge room this, really, really tall ceilings. And as you walk through here, the whole design of this particular villa, look, has windows on the left from the north, giving ambient light. And then here, look, always sliding glass doors leading you out to your private patio. And of course, that swimming pool. This is a beautiful dining, formalized dining room here. And again, open plan style, as is the living here to this rather cozy, sofa tv area again i say cozy but this is huge when you look at the square meterage on the plan you've got a window to the left there of course for ventilation should you need it in the summer and then you've got this massive glass wall here that looks out and actually i can see you probably can't see on this video but there's some beautiful views of the surrounding mountains even from your living room as you can see here though a very open plan layout to this room. Again, those gorgeous ceilings. And on the left then is the kitchen. As you walk into the kitchen then, this is a really wide entrance area here. So it makes it quite a sociable space. The first thing is this huge, great big Siemens double fridge freezer on the right hand side there. And then this beautiful green natural granite finish here along the sink area. Very, very special indeed. You've always got a glimpse out to the pool where we will be going in a little while. Again, a mixture of modern style, wide soft closing bin drawers there. You've got an electric oven on the left hand side and your hob unit there on the right. But just a really nice open aspect. Obviously, if you're entertaining here, you've got both the possibility of the formalized dining space, but then also just out here, look, literally out to the pool, a lovely covered dining space as well. Now, just before we go outside, let's just get to the accommodation. This door here leads you into a, a corridor that takes you to three of the bedrooms. On the left, look, you've also got glass sliding doors here that take you out to that covered patio. So again, loads of natural light, but also great communication. Uh, you can imagine in summer having all of these doors open, of course. Firstly, the first guest bedroom, beautiful double bedroom, 
two singles in there, windows to the north. Those windows are particularly large, double glazed of course, and you've got the whole wall of built-in wardrobes. You'll notice throughout this property there is no lack of wardrobe space. Next to that and dividing the two guest bedrooms is a full bathroom. You've actually got his and her sinks here on the left hand side and you've actually got a jet bath here and floating WC. Plus of course you've got that very tall window for ventilation. At the end of the corridor then is a second guest bedroom. Again it's another large double. Also with those tall windows and a huge bank or wall of built-in wardrobes as well. The master bedroom then has a preferential position here look with sliding glass terrace doors leading you out to the pool. So a beautiful spot there. Again a very spacious double here. Tall ceilings throughout this whole villa. On the right here you've actually got a privacy wall for a dresser and behind that look you've actually got then your walk-in wardrobe and your own ensuite shower room. This walk-in wardrobe is huge and then as you come in look beautifully tiled I have to say here in this shower room. You have a walk-in shower with rain effect shower there and you've got these two tall windows again plus floating WC plus his and hers uh, sinks there as well. Just coming out of the, the main uh, master bedroom again onto the sun terraces and just next door in a separate accommodation is the fourth bedroom. Again this is a guest en suite almost like a little apartment really. You've got direct access out there to the sun terraces and the pool. Again full wardrobes here. Lovely double and your own ensuite shower here as well. It's an ideal separate annex. Again, floating WC walk in shower there. Beautifully tiled, I have to say. Each of these bathrooms, just a slightly different colour uh, in each of them to uh, make them quite individual. But it's great to have this option to be away from the rest of the uh, accommodation here as well. Just on the side of that guest accommodation is a utility room. Really, really handy to have one of these. Not a lot of villas actually do. Um, this one has a washing machine, tumble dryer, fridge unit here, your hot water boiler here as well, plenty of space to store things. And you've actually got a little walled patio here. Actually, it's quite a useful drying space. And as you can see, just a quick glimpse of the pool. Coming back through the house then, and through that kitchen and now out to show you this fantastic covered terrace area here. To be honest this is where you're going to spend 95% of your time. It's a beautifully covered terrace area here. Look at the carpentry work. Absolutely gorgeous of course on these pillars and these beams here as well. It's a large space so you've got this huge six-seater outdoor dining space and then another lounge area out here. You can even see the fact that there's a TV out here really gives you an idea of the lifestyle and how much this outdoor space is so important to our living here in Fuerteventura. On the left, middle and to the right is a toldo or a sun awning. These are actually uh, retractable. They actually lower down to the floor so you can actually close this area in. But look now, we're out to the pool. And you can just see how the sunbeds are all laid out here, how useful and how large this space is. You've really got a cosseted, high-walled and very private pool area. From right to left then, there's actually another open area for your barbecue dining. You'll notice that the pool actually has a fantastic sliding cover so that it keeps it really warm in winter. It's a very long pool this, it's about eight meters long. And you can see how the property wraps around just creating this really lovely warm protected sun deck, sun terrace area here. Gorgeous pool as you can see. Imagine 
in the evening, having the lights on there and being able to sit out here and having a little barbecue or entertaining friends and family. You'll notice the roof line fully tiled all the way and with solar hot water heating as well as traditional heating also. So this barbecue area here and again with this wood pergola there is a, an awning that comes down if you want a little bit more protection. It's quite a rustic area, it's absolutely ideal of course for barbecues and for entertaining. Again just another angle shot here. The property has neighbours around but really it's just so private because of the high privacy walls. And then as you walk through here look another sofa area with this artificial grass. On the left here a really really convenient WC wash basin here just off the pool quite handy really when you're sitting outside. And then back to this covered terrace and again as I said earlier this really is your main living room. Well I hope that was a helpful virtual tour of this four bedroom detached uh, villa here in Tricky Vachate. Again just a couple of points really. To be so close to the town centre, literally in walking distance uh, of the Cruzada, the crossroads uh, coffee shop and restaurant, uh, is really phenomenal to have such a private and large plot of land. This is a 1,800 square metre plot of land. The property is well over 200 uh, square metres. Uh, so to have this size in this location is quite rare. Uh, and also it's very, very private uh, indeed. Again, lovely, lovely swimming pool, of course. What more could you want on a winter's morning here in Fuerteventura? Remember, of course, all the details are on goldacreestates.com. If you scroll down the description of this video, you'll find the link that will take you directly to the property listing on Goldacre Estates. Uh, and of course, if you uh, haven't downloaded that uh, all-important mobile app yet, I'm going to pop up that QR code again uh, so you can have another opportunity to do that. Uh, we hope that was helpful and we look forward to seeing you soon.